मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग मैम Now to the Okay, let us start. Chapter nine is children. reproduction in plants isn't it this is your chapter yes okay. so in plants how many types of reproduction do we study ma'am two ma'am two ma'am two what ma'am two Ma'am, asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. Asexual and sexual. Now, children, can we simply define what is asexual reproduction? Ma'am, can I give a prakash? Ma'am, can I give a ba? Ma'am, can I give a prakash? Ma'am, can I ankuran? Ma'am, can I? I'm going to start. Yes, uh, yes, ma'am. Ma'am, reproduction in which an individual can reproduce on its on its own without involvement of uh, of another individual of the same uh, species is known as asexual reproduction. Okay. Next example Angel. are budding fragmentation. No, they that is that is. Uh, Types, not examples. Clear. So Kinzel will say how many types of asexual reproduction we have studied. How many types? Ma'am, ma there are um, <clears throat> three types of uh, asexual reproduction. Uh, first is spore formation. Uh, spore formation yes. and. We have studied three types, Kinzel. Is that correct? Three types is correct. It is four types. Four types. Now you name them. No. Four types. Yeah. Um. Ma'am, first is budding. Second is spore formation. Third, fragmentation and uh, um vegetative uh, vegetative pro propagation. Okay. Next. अभी क्या यू डिस्क्राइब अबाउट बडिंग बडिंग के बारे में बोलिए आप जस्ट इन अबाउट बडिंग यस मैम मैम टू रिप्रोड्यूस ए सेक्सुअली इट यूज अ बर्ड is it correct correct means you have to explain more about it who will explain can the I? next one can i ma'am can i ma'am can i ma'am can i ma'am can i this is the question yes ma'am excuse me ma'am yes, ma'am ma i'm saying ma'am i accidentally mute myself ma'am okay then i will complete it 
Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am, but ma'am, uh, ma'am to ma'am to reproduce asexually. First, Canada. Uh, Ma'am, budding. Ma'am, budding. Ma'am, to reproduce. Ma'am, in budding, to reproduce asexually, it produce a outgrowing, outgrowth called bud. The new cell. Reading just now. That means that is my important thing. Now, Devi Prakash, you explain. She is not confirmed. Yes, ma'am. Prakash. Yes, ma'am. In budding process, there is a small outgrowth called bud. In yeast, a bulb like bud is formed on one side of the cell. The nucleus divides, and one of the daughter nuclei passed into the blood. This helps in the formation of his daughter cell from the nucleus. Okay. Next. Next is fragmentation. Daniel, you would explain about fragmentation. Daniel, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Manna, you explain about fragmentation. Okay, ma'am. Fragmentation. Fragmentation breaking of an organism into fragments which develop into new individuals. If you try to lift them with a stick, you will see a long, fine green thread like structure. These are called algae. One such algae is a spreogra. It reproduces actually by fragmentation. Did you read the whole paragraph? I'm asking asking you the answer, not the whole reading. Honey, Honey Kumari. Yes, ma'am. Give ma me the appropriate answer of fragmentation. Ma'am, breaking down of fragments and to develop new, uh, to develop, uh, ma'am, breaking down of, uh, breaking down of fragments, uh, breaking of organism into fragment which develop new individuals. We can take example of Spirogyra. It's known as okay. fragmentation. Ah. Okay. Read out. Everything is given there in the book. You have to select the answer how much you have to write. Anshika, and all are given. Or it has been explained to you. It answer has been given to you. Anshika. Anshika Sagar. Are you there? No. Gauri? Yes, ma'am. Gauri, you explain me about the spore formation. Yes, ma'am. We have may absorb our cottony growth on stale bread or some spoiled food stuff. It does not uh, it does not take long for this cottony growth to turn into minute spine like structures of bread mark. This is called spore ganning. As they have spores in them. Okay, Priyanshu. Priyanshu. Priyanshu Kumar. Are you there? No. Ridima. Yes, ma'am. Describe about vegetative propagation. Mom, ma'am, in, ma in the vegetative propagation, the new plants are produced from the vegetative parts like roots, stem, or leaves of the plant. This method is known as vegetation. Okay, next, next turn goes to uh, Amarjeet. Are you there? Amarji, Srishti Singh. Yes, ma'am. You tell me how many types of vegetative propagation we have. 
again this vegetative propagation is divided into several categories so you tell me how many types of vegetative propagation we have ma'am vegetative propagation from stem vegetative mm. propagation from leaves mm. and ma'am from roots theek hai correct shivam raj explain yes, one of them shivam raj yes ma'am explain vegetative propagation from stem with example in uh, in vegetative pro, uh, propagation of the stem the two or uh, the stored food in in the form of starch sorry ma uh, i mean in uh, vegetative propagation from stem ma uh, आइए or branch of an existing plant by the method of cutting the new plants formed from a cutting is exactly similar to the parent plant okay but one more method is there in this stem yes you are telling about the grafting method na no? i am talking about how it is taking place with the help of bulb that is which is followed in uh potato potato mein kis tarah ka uh, ye follow kiya jata hai method ma'am vegetative propagation by roots no ma'am by stem ma'am by, ma by, 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 by stem ma'am by stem by stem potato yes ma'am stem ha to which is there in the stem ma'am your voice is not coming children why are you getting इन केस ऑफ दिस potato it is in the category of vegetative propagation by stem how does it take place in potato gauri can you explain okay then after that ankur adidhi prakash yes ma'am yes ma'am devi uh, ankur you explain or devi prakash those who are knowing ma'am which thing that how is the vegetative propagation by stem taking place in uh, potato ginger turmeric ma'am can i ma'am i don't know it okay devi prakash you want to explain yes ma'am ma'am sir boliye yes ma'am a potato a potato is an underground stem of a potato plant it is swollen with stored food the eyes of the potato sprout into new plants 
each of an eye have scaly leaves bearing buds in their axis which develop into aerial shoots hmm. children when we were discussing this chapter then i have explained you that there are small protuberances or small uh, you can say um, just uh, that portion is known as eyes or have you ever seen ginger ginger structure is not yes, very fixed so you see that round round structure comes from every node so that is uh, yes, uh, itself a uh, you can say baby plant is there when we give appropriate condition of environment so in the same way you will see a dotted portion in the potato also and when the uh, time will come then you will see that a small protuberance comes out from that, that uh, those eyes and they are when we are going to sow it in its adequate season then it will develop into a new plant although it is what it is a stem so this is also a vegetative propagation shown by uh, this uh, stem part clear yeah. so don't forget that grafting is a different one but vegetative propagation shown in potato ginger and turmeric it is a different one because here a small structure is already present inside the uh, that uh, you can say modified stem and you can we can develop a new individual or a new plant from the cut part of those uh, existing um, stem part or you can see com in gladiolus and co uh, colocasia now children have you ever seen the um, structure structure of these things you just have a look on the blackboard we are having this potato like this and this is a small dotted structures are isn't it so these structures when they will Uh, when appropriate time of sowing will come, then they will grow into a small bud like this. Come inside, and when we are going to cut this part, when I was explaining you this chapter, I have already told you all of you. I think you have understood that for the for the part. This part is cut, and when it is transferred into the soil, when the environmental condition is correct. That means it is just at the end of rainy season, uh, like September October. After that, the sowing season comes, and just now in uh, January February we start the harvesting season of uh, this potato. So this small one is having a small burden, and when we are going to cut this or detach it from the potato, then. and one potato can produce so many plants there are so many plants being produced by one potato clear then after that children in case of uh, uh, this uh, colocasia and uh, gladiolus jisko aap log hum log arbi bhi bolte hain hindi mein ya phir uske baad aapka your uh, onion Yes, these all these onion is all uh, for vegetative propagation of the leaves. Scaly leaves are found over there. No, onion is uh, the bulb one. This is the stem. Vegetative propagation by stem. But when we open the onion, onion is just like open the onion. There are so many layers. You know, but it has a layer also, and these layers. they are also very much and when we see that the sowing season comes then this root which is stored over here that slowly gets regenerate and after that a small green structure comes out which is responsible for growth of the uh, onion clear so don't yes, get confused and grafting you all are there in the meeting grafting yaad hai aap log ko ग्राफ्टिंग में क्या होता है 
जिसमें आपका दो पोर्शन होता है कौन सा पोर्शन होता है स्टॉक एंड मैम स्टॉक एंड स्कीन एक ही नहीं है 
Ma'am and the ma'am and the new uh, ma'am with the plant which are grow ma'am they are the exact copies of the parent uh, parent plant ma'am and uh, these plant have the same characteristic of those the uh, parent plant. Mm -hmm. And they can bear. Then one of you, Abhigya, you tell me what are the disadvantages. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma disadvantages of ma'am asexual reproduction is ma'am as the ma'am as the new plant is uh, exact copy of their parent plant. The uh, ma'am the diseases are also common in both of them, and ma'am it. Ma'am, uh, ma'am. They get infected quickly. Yes. Okay. Then, Ankur. Define sexual yes, reproduction. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, sexual reproduction requ uh, requires the involvement of two individuals, typically one of each sex. Hmm. Devi Prakash, what are the different parts? Or if, uh, what are the different reproductive parts of a plant? Ma'am, male part and male part and the uh, female part. Kaun kaun sa hai? Wo naam bolo. Ma'am, male part gametes and uh, female part ovules. No, no, no. Not like that. You have to name each and every part. Gametes is the fusion. After fusion, we get the gametes. Yes, Male part and female 